Even though Chris Nolan's Oppenheimer opens up next month, it's definitely not going to be the film that delivers the biggest bomb of the summer, as The Flash has officially cemented itself as the biggest one thus far. So let's talk about the expectations for the weekend and the results that are coming in. So this is going to be a quicker update and not a more in length, in depth to look at what happened. That of course will come either Monday or Tuesday, depending on when we get a full tracking of the weekend, day by day, hour by hour, screen by screen, which you guys know I will go into and really break down what happened. But what we're looking at right now is the official numbers that are coming in due to the tracking of obviously not just Thursday and Friday, but Saturday closing up and what we're expecting for Sunday. And going into the weekend, we were talking about the low end estimate being around 68 to 70 million, the high end about 80 to 85. And optimistically, from what we understand, WB was very much uh, dead set on 75. Now, once again, this is a far cry from what we had about eight weeks ago when the expectations were 140 to 150 million. But seeing the reviews and the fan reaction, honestly, it's not shocking that we're looking at a combined three day total of barely 62 million. So we're coming in around 13 to 15 million below WB's expectation and literally lower than the lowest end estimate. So again, we're not going to dive into it too deeply in this video, but if you've been tracking this and I know you guys have been in the comments and talking about it and the expectations, honestly, I don't think anybody expected this one. And from what we're seeing, at least from the early indications from screen uh, per screen basis, it's not doing good pretty much anywhere. Now, of course, there is a chance that the international can overperform those numbers. We will not have more than likely till Monday morning. And nobody is going to base anything on those. And the hope you would assume is that International will carry this film forward. But honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, we're seeing that International has honestly fallen apart for many films looking to strike gold there. And as we recently talked about, Fast and the Furious, the 10th entry, was banking on International. And it suffered 60% loss overseas from the previous entry. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this one. But the takeaway is Black Adam is the most successful DCEU film since the pandemic. And that was the biggest bomb we thought. So this film's price tag, what it's making and uh, what's going to be said Monday morning and whose head is going to be on a pike over at WB. We'll talk about that when we get more official numbers. <laughs> 